Come on, kiddos. Let's go. What the fuck, school bus? Oh, they had to wait for the mom to come and get them. Thanks, mom. Holding up traffic. Anyway, have you been on TikTok and you've seen those, uh, like, am I the asshole things on Reddit? Because I kind of got one of those. One of the guys I work with, he didn't have his keys to get into the uh, lockbox, so we fill out a report and drop it in the box, and then after the, like, at the end of a week or, you know, probably once a week, we go through and he, uh, he files them and all that on the computer. But he didn't have his keys. So he goes, I got a hundred bucks, you can't pick that lock. And they put a hundred dollars on the table. Well, I fucking grabbed a paper clip and it's one of those like, you know, it has two pins, so if you jam something in there, it'll unlock. But he didn't know that. So I took a paper clip and I unfolded it and I jammed it in there. Well, I turned around after it flung open and I smacked that hundred dollars off the table that he put down. And then I locked it, I locked the lockbox again. Am I the asshole for taking the money off a friendly bet? Because some people say that they wouldn't have taken it because it was a joke. Other people are saying that he was going to take it if I made the bet. I felt like I should have gave it back. And then I also felt like, no, you made the bet. You stick to your word. So I was kind of in between. Do I give it back or do I use it to pay my bills or what, 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 what do I do? A couple days later. We were joking around. He's like, no, you won that fair and square. But as a gentleman's rule, you wouldn't have taken the money. But I mean, am I the asshole for taking the money that he put down blatantly on the table thinking I could never do it? 15 seconds later, I do it. I'm kind of in the middle. I am, but I'm not. Yes, I. there is the gentleman's rule where you don't actually take it. But at the same time, he put that money down far too quickly to doubt me. Okay, goodbye. Oh, Jesus Christ. I definitely was not doing 100 and whatever that that just said I was doing. I forgot how many fucking potholes there were over here. This is one of my favorite roads, just for the view. behind a truck and your helmet starts shaking all around from the wind that they give off? I hate that shit. Oh god, I almost killed that chipmunk.
Yay, traffic. So when you're on the highway and there's like a guardrail or something there, like, like this, and you pass another biker on the other side of the guardrail, do you wave to them? Or is this like the uh, the golden rule where, or not golden rule per se, it's the, uh, the, the exception. So if there's a guardrail on your way, you don't wave, or a jersey barrier or something like that, you don't wave. But if there's no guardrail, but it's still like that, like that, but no guardrail, you know, two lane highway, just a grass median, do you wave or do you not? I don't know. If there's a guard, I feel like if there's a guardrail or something, you don't. That's just my personal opinion, but I feel like if there's a guardrail or something in the way, you don't wave. Like, that's the exception. I think it was that MT-09 that brought up that question. But after he brought up that question, he had me guess, like, second-guessing myself the entire time. Because now I realize that I don't wave when there's a barrier and they don't wave back, but we're not... It's like the understood rule that when there's a barrier or something in your way on the highway, you don't wave. But I'll be on a different road that's just like the highway, but there's no guardrail. And you wave at each other. It's just, I don't, I don't understand. I hate this intersection because everybody hangs their nose out. And they just fucking pull out. Really? What the fuck? Yeah, let's just back out onto the main road and fucking throw our hazards on. With traffic coming and then just sit there. That's fine. Alright, lady. I want to go home. I saw him just a little too late, but I was already out. I was already rolling out in the street with the clutch, so. And I'm fucking sure, I'm five foot four. If I put my foot down, it ain't doing a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. I got nothing else to really talk about, and I'm going numb. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one.